Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a very simple J unit test for your Java program. Now, what is J unit? J unit is a unit testing framework for Java programming language. And it has been important in development of test driven development process. So using J unit, you can set up a test for your program so that uh, you know if your program is really large and you don't have the time to test each and every function manually j unit can be used for uh, this these kind of test or j unit test can be used for a nightly test so that you can uh, write your code in the uh, in the day and you can run these uh, j unit in the night so that you can check uh, if your uh, program is, uh, you know, correctly working with other, you know, classes or not. So let's uh, create a simple JUnit test. First of all, we will create a simple uh, project for Java and then we will create uh, JUnit uh, test cases for uh, this project. So go to files, new and Java project. And first of all, we will create our new java project and i will name it as my class for example okay and make sure that this option in project layout use project folder as root for sources and class files is selected click next next and click finish so this will create a simple project for us and in here we are going to create a package first so just right click your project and click new package and this package we will name it as for example um, programming knowledge okay click finish and inside this package we will create a class so create new class and uh, this class name we will name it as my j unit class okay and click finish so this will create a class for us and in here we can uh, write our program right so let's create uh, some simple functions inside this class for example public int add so we are, we are going to add two numbers int a int b and it's just going to return the addition of a plus b okay and let's create one more function and that's going to give us the concatenation of two strings so so these are very simple functions uh, the purpose of uh, this uh, video is not uh, you know uh, not to show how to write functions or other things, but how to set up a simple uh, J unit test on our functions. Okay, so now we have created a simple uh, class and some functions inside our class. And now let's uh, set up some J unit test on this, uh, these functions. So what uh, you can do is you can uh, just go to your project and go to new and in here you will be able to see a section called j unit test case and these cases you can define multiple cases for uh, multiple functions okay and these test cases combine together to make a suit so you can also create a suit for your test cases so just first of all we will create this j unit test case for us and uh, you can 
you know give the name to the test case and in here you can choose uh, which uh, JUnit uh, library you want to use new JUnit 3 test or new JUnit 4 test we are going to leave it as default which is JUnit 4 for now and we name our test as my class test okay or let's uh, precisely name our test as add test because we are going to use this for this function for adding two integers okay so now what we can do here is click finish and it's going to ask the which library you want to uh, use and it's going to prompt us that j unit 4 is not on build in part do you want to add it yes we want to add it and now we have created a simple uh, you know test case for us j unit test case and this test you can change the name of this test as add test for example because we are going to test the add function here and in here you can call your class so we have created this class right j unit test class okay and in here uh, we have two functions so we are going to test first function for now right so in this add test we will define our class and we will name it as j unit for example is equal to new my j unit test class and then we can use this to call the add function inside of our j unit class my j unit class right so we are as expecting int as a result result is equal to j unit dot add okay and in here let's uh, pass some numbers 100 and 200 okay now this result will be the summation of these two because we are adding uh, these two numbers using this function so we can uh, just check for the equality using assert equal okay and the first argument of this assert equal function takes the value you are expecting for example 300 because we know that the addition of 100 and 200 is 300 and then we will pass the result of uh, the function which uh, which is returned by add function right so this is a simple test uh, we have written for our add function you can uh, define more test cases there are more functions to test the functionality of uh, your functions and classes but this is really simple stuff uh, i want to show right now now in order to run your test what you need to do is you just need to go to your uh, add test dot java which is our junit test case right click on it and now then debug as j unit test okay so right click and debug as j unit test and what you what are the source file you want to add in it you can leave them as default click ok and now it shows the result here in green line here and it says zero error zero failure so that means our unit test has passed which we have written for the add function in my j unit class right now let's uh, define some unexpected result for example we are ex expecting 301 and the addition of uh, this is 300 so this test should fail right so once again we are going to go to our add test.java and right click and debug as j unit okay and now your test fails because the result is 300 and we are expecting 301 
so obviously the test will fail right now uh, let's define a second test for uh, our second class uh, or second function in the class so just go to your project new JUnit test and then concat test for example click finish and in here you can change the name of your function as concat test okay and we will delete this and for now let's uh, copy the same code from the earlier uh, test and paste it here and we are just going to change uh, this result here now we are testing concatenation function which returns string and this will be junit dot concat and we will pass two strings here for example hello world okay and as a result we are expecting hello world this is uh, you know case we have defined this is the case we have defined for our concatenate function right now let's try and uh, run our second test case I forgot to add this semicolon here once again right click your project debug as uh, JUnit test okay and our test passes okay now uh, let's create a test suit for our two tests so we have written two tests for our two functions and now you can define a test suit for all your tests right so right click on your project go to new and in here go to other and in here you will be able to see a category called java and inside this java category there is a category called junit and in here just choose this junit test suit click next and here we are uh, you know choosing a source folder and the name of your suit is all test for example and then you can even choose your package name for example programming knowledge and in here you can choose your test so we are going to add both the classes add test and concatenate test for uh, this suit and click finish so it has created a test suit for us with uh, both the test classes add test and concatenate test class okay now you can run this all test.java file right click debug as junit test and it runs your java suit uh, test suit junit test suit and in here you it says both test passes and you know you can see both are green here so in this way you can create a simple junit test for your java program i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for